Hey y'all, it's me, Bill Ferreter, and it's time for another 10-minute team tip. Today I wanted to introduce you to ChatGPT and the way that it can help save teachers time. Now, ChatGPT, if you're not familiar with it, it is an AI chatbot, an art of artificial intelligence chatbot. I want you to think of it as your personal assistant, a tool that you can use to get a start on some of the work that you're asked to do on a regular basis. And you'll be blown away by what it's capable of. I, at least I know that I was. So here's ChatGPT. You can find it. Just Google it on the internet, right? Like it's not going to be difficult to find. It does have an app for iOS. There's not an app for Android yet, but there will be eventually. I just use it on my desktop mostly. And one of the things that I know that I did as an eighth grade science teacher is I was always looking for passages for students to read, right? So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, can you generate a five paragraph reading for eighth graders on relative dating, right? That's one of the concepts that I teach. And sure enough, ChatGPT will go and develop a reading for you, right? That's a passage that I could use in class if I wanted to with my students. Now, do I know if the passage is any good? No, right? It might not be a passage that's got everything that I want it to have inside of it. It might need to be a little bit of revision. But can you see how getting a first draft in seconds without even really having to think about it has value? And then what about this? You know, as an eighth grade teacher, I always had students who weren't always reading on grade level. So what if I went in here and said, can you rewrite this on the fifth grade reading level? And ChatGPT's answer is, yeah, absolutely I can. Here's a draft for fifth graders. So as a teacher, now I've got two passages covering the same topic at two different reading levels. And it took me three seconds to get them. I mean, that has value, doesn't it? What if I tried this? Can you generate five questions that I can use to assess comprehension of this passage? Let's see if it can generate some questions for me, right? It's thinking. Oh, yeah, there they go. Here's some five reading questions for you that you can use to assess mastery. What if I said, can you give me the answer key for those questions? Of course it can. Do you see where I'm going here? Like ChatGPT as my personal assistant is giving me first drafts of ideas that I can look at as a teacher and consider if it has value. And if it has value, then why wouldn't I use this as a starting point for some of my thinking, some of my planning, some of the work that I need to do? Uh, I wanna try this. You know, last year I had lots of students in my classroom who spoke different languages. I had a couple of students from Afghanistan who spoke Farsi. I wonder if it can translate the passage into Farsi for me. Can you translate this reading passage? into Farsi, right? I mean, that was one of my biggest challenges as a teacher was how do I get my students to re be able to read the work that I've asked them to do? Now you'll see here, I don't know that I got what I want, right? Because this certainly isn't a five paragraph passage. So I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna ask the, ch ask the prompt in a different way. Can you rewrite or can you translate your original reading passage into Farsi. Let's see if that'll get me there. Okay. And yeah, it looks like that's what it's doing now. I'm getting five paragraphs worth of content in Farsi. Do you see how that values has value to me as a teacher? Like it's one of those things where I'm getting content in seconds that would have been a lot harder for me to generate as an individual teacher all on my own. I want you to realize that that kind of thing, like it's a great starting point for us as teachers. Let me show you another quick example. 
Um, I'm going to go and try a math example. This is something I've done a few times for people and they're always kind of impressed. So math can be a difficult subject to generate higher order tasks for. Math can also be a difficult uh, subject to provide examples for when you're playing with a tech tool. But I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, can you generate four tasks leveled by DOK for solving linear equations for ninth grade students? I mean, that's a really specific thing to do, right? DOK doesn't seem like something that like an internet tool would understand. It's a very specific teacher phrase. But check this out. It's given me four tasks almost immediately. Now, I shared these tasks with a math expert friend of mine, and she said, Bill, you know that level two task? It's not at the right level of cognitive complexity. It's probably a DOK1 task. So, okay, let me go in here then and say, can you increase the cognitive complexity of task two? And sure enough, it's going to go in and increase the cognitive complexity of my task. Now, my friend also said, Bill, your DOK task three really needs a context for the learning. All right. Can you add a context for learning for the DOK three task? Sure enough, it builds a context for me. So what I want you to realize is that ChatGPT can be a starting point for a lot of the things that you already have to do. It doesn't mean you're automatically going to get content that you can copy and paste and use immediately. But what it does mean is you're always going to get a starting point for your work. And if you can get a starting point, man, that saves us time, doesn't it, as teachers? Sometimes, and, and I, the language that I like to use is, isn't it easier to revise something that's already been created than it is to create original first drafts of things? Let me show you another example that's always impressive. I work in Arkansas a lot. So here are the kindergarten science standards for Arkansas. Now I'm going to go back to ChatGPT. I'm going to open up a new chat and I'm going to say, can you unpack this standard for me? Right? And that phrase, unpack a standard, I mean, man, that's a very specific educational word, isn't it? But ChatGPT is able to go and give you a nice unpacking. It literally broke the standard into individual parts. It explained what each individual part requires. And it gave an overall summary of the expectation of the standards. Guys, that's exactly what we want teachers to do when they unpack a standard. The goal is to understand the requirements that are within the standard. My friend Paula Maker says, become a student of your standard before you bring your standard to your students. Well, that's exactly what you've done here. Now, if we read this together as a team and wrestle with it, we know our standard better than we ever did before. Check this out. Can you rewrite that standard in student-friendly language? By the way, it helps if you can type, right? Sure enough, it can. I think that's awesome. This is the work we do with standards, right? How about this? Can you give me some sample activities for teaching this standard? ChatGPT, absolutely. Here are some things that you can do. I need you to understand how valuable this is for teachers, even if these activities are not anything new to you. Even if these activities aren't great, they're a starting point and it took you no time and energy or effort to generate them. As teachers, one of our goals is to identify new strategies for teaching important concepts to kids. So if ChatGPT can give us a starting point, some ideas we hadn't considered before, we might as well run with it, right? Even if they're not perfect, didn't take me any time, energy, and effort to generate them. How about this one? Can you tell me the common misconceptions that kindergarten gardeners have about this standard? Let's see if it can generate some common misconceptions. Yeah, there it is. Do you see how this is helpful? We become 
experts on our curriculum by having an additional thought partner that we didn't have. Think of this as another member of your collaborative team, somebody that can help you brainstorm new ways to do things. Now, I mean, guys, the, the examples can go on forever. I can share with you over and over and over again things that ChatGPT is capable of doing. But it's a 10-minute team tip, right? This will go on for 40 minutes if I keep going. What I want you to know is that if there are collaborative tasks that you're asked to do on a regular basis or teaching tasks that you want some new ideas for, or if you want to generate some questions for a reading passage, or if you want to increase the cognitive complexity of things or decrease the cognitive complexity of things, ChatGPT can probably help. For me, it's become a time saver galore. If I were a teacher on a team, remember I retired last year, but if I was a teacher on a team, we would turn to ChatGPT on a regular basis to get some ideas to consider that we hadn't thought about before. Because why not? The amount of time, energy, and effort it takes to get those ideas is literally zero. Doesn't replace your work. Remember, I'm not telling you to type something into ChatGPT, copy and paste, and put it onto a test for kids, but it gives you a starting point for your work. My friend Eric Twadell likes to call it a point of departure from what you've always done. And for me, that has a lot of value. All right, go ahead and experiment with it a little bit. Uh, by the way, everything you saw was free. There's, there's no cost to this at the current moment. Um, again, another reason why we should experiment with it. Thanks for coming along. Uh, hit like or subscribe so you don't miss any 10-minute uh, team tips in the future. Hey, have a great 4th of July. Bye.